to make sand art. We're making beautiful sand art today. We're gonna show you how to do it so you can play too. First, you need a plastic bag, a piece of sidewalk chalk, and some salt. Pour about a cup of salt into your bag. Now you'll need some chalk. Pick the color you want and put that piece of chalk in the bag too. Then you zip it back up and then rub. Rub the salt and chalk together. The salt is scratchy on the chalk. It causes the chalk to break apart in teeny tiny pieces. Those little pieces mixed with the salt becomes your sand. The more you rub, the darker the color of the sand would be. Once the salt is the color you want, you can pour it into a bowl. These are some sands we made earlier and we're gonna show you how to pour it. First, you'll need a recycled water bottle. It can be glass or plastic. Next, you'll need a funnel. You put the funnel on the top of the water bottle so you can pour the sand into the funnel and it comes into the water bottle. Now, you're gonna need some small cups to scoop the sand up. You need about a half of these little cups. You can choose whatever color you want. You can do it in a pattern or you can make it random. My turn. Now I'm adding blue. I'm gonna add a little bit more blue because I want it to make a whole layer. Now I'm gonna put some green in. Last but not least, some pink. I'll fill about half a cup of it. I'm adding a little bit more so it looks better. Now I'm gonna tilt it to make it even. You just keep on layering the colors you want. And then at the end, you'll have a colorful sand masterpiece. There we go. We'll just shake it a little bit to make it a little even. Can we add a little bit more orange? Yeah. Why don't we add some pink? Okay. This is about to be full. Now you need to put the cap on. And that's how you make our masterpiece of sand art. How to make paint you can eat. We made this cool art. And the best part about it is you can eat it. Mm. Mm. We're going to show you how to make it so you can play too. Here's how you make paint you can eat. First you put some yogurt in the bowl. You start with plain white yogurt. The yogurt's gonna be your paint. Then you add flavored gelatin. The flavored gelatin is gonna make the yogurt colorful. Start by putting a little bit. And then stir it. I'm making green paint. And I'm making orange. Different flavors make different colors. To make the color darker, add more. When you swirl it, it looks like it's a big tornado. And when the gelatin and yogurt are mixed together, you're ready to paint. You can use your spoon like a paintbrush. Get a plate and then start making your picture. I want to use red. I'm making a blue line. I want to use orange now. You kind of have to pour it out of your spoon a little. And then you can smear it around. Mmm, lemon smells good. I'm making a rainbow. Me too. I'm going to use two lemons to make eyes. Now, I'm going to use red to make eyelashes. I'm done with my rainbow. It yeah. looks really pretty. Thank you. My favorite fruit is blueberries because they're very yummy and sweet. <laughs> now I'm going to add two blueberries for my eyeballs. My favorite fruit is a strawberry. That's why I use them for eyes. I'm using two oranges for cheeks. There's my face. All done. I'm adding more paint on top of my paint. And if you don't want the paint somewhere, just dip it on your finger and eat it. Done! Have fun painting and eating! How to make puffy cloud paint. I love to paint. 
And today, I'm going to show you how to make puffy cloud paint so you can play too. The first step into making puffy cloud paint is to get half a cup of flour and pour it into a bigger bowl. Then, you should take half a cup of glue. Then you need four cups of shaving cream. That's about four cups. Then you mix all that together. Important tip, do not over mix. You want the shaving cream to stay light and fluffy, so don't mix super fast or super hard. It feels light and fluffy, just the right consistency. It feels kind of like a marshmallow. It feels like a cloud. If it's not fluffy enough, then you might want to add some more shaving cream. The best thing to do is add a little bit at a time. Once it's mixed, this is going to be your white paint. Put your white paint in each of the little bowls. These will be your different color paints. You mix the food coloring into your white cloud to make it a color. Add more drops to make it darker and less drops to make it lighter. Really stir it good so all of the darker color gets mixed in. But don't mix it too much so it gets not puffy anymore. I think that's about good. Want it to get about this color. And once you make all your colors, you paint. Once you're ready to paint, you want a piece of poster board or cardboard. Because since cloud paint is really wet, regular paper will just soak it up and will rip. So you want a thicker piece of material. You can use sponges, brushes, or even spoons. I'm gonna use some white first to make the little clouds at the side of my rainbow. Cloud paint is kind of hard to work with, so you might want to dab it instead of, instead of brushing it like you would with regular paint. You want it to be as puffy as possible. You should try to layer over layer so it gets more of that little puffy, cloudy texture. I guess cloud paint, when it dries, it feels like you could, your hands could be walking on a cloud because it feels so good. It feels fluffy and so squishy. Make sure it's puffy so it looks like a puffy rainbow, not just the puffy clouds. I'm using a spoon now because using a spoon, you can drag it out more. You can always spread it a little bit. It's really great to use your fingers because it's okay to get messy using cloud paint. That's half the fun of it. How to make a rainbow rain cloud. This is how you make a rainbow rain cloud. You need shaving cream, food coloring, and water. First, you fill a clear vase with water. It helps if it's a vase and it's narrow, not a big bowl. Then you need to add shaving cream on top. When it makes that noise, shake it. It looks kind of mm, like a cloud, kind of. Make a big pile of shaving cream. The shaving cream will float on top. I think it's ready. Then you add some water to some small cups. Just a little bit, don't fill it up. Next, get your color ready. Just a little bit of water with food coloring in it. Then, pour your colored water into your cloud. Just pour a little bit. I'm doing purple. Try to put a color on each side. So then, there's more explosion. I added blue. Now I want to add some red. It's swirling. It takes a little while to soak through the shaving cream. But then the colors go into the water. It's going down really slow, like in slow motion. It's very pretty. And it looks like colorful rain coming out of a cloud. It's so cool. Whoa. 
and that's how to make the rainbow rain cloud. How to make an I Spy bottle. Shh, we're playing spies. We're making I Spy bottles. What's an I Spy bottle? It's a bottle where you spy things. We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. First, we're gonna make colorful rice. You're going to first need a plastic bag. And put in four to five pumps of hand sanitizer. I wanna make my rice red. I'm making mine blue. Then put in four to five drops of food coloring. And then you're going to put a cup of rice. And just put one cup. And you need to zip your bag. And then you're going to put that rice and just swish it. Just really nice. It feels so mushy. <laughs> Mushy, 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 mushy. Mine is all red now. Mine is blue. And then you need to dry your rice, which will probably take an hour. You could just pour it into a bowl. This is the rice that we made earlier, and now it's dry, and now we're ready to make our ice spy bottle. And this bottle was old and recycled from sweet tea. So we're gonna have a clear bottle, a funnel, and here are some objects. So we're gonna get a scoop in the red. And the funnel makes the rice go through it, so then the rice will go into the bottle. Find some items to put inside the bottle. Here's some that we found. A paper clip, some candlesticks, some flowers. I added a blue ball. Okay, and now we're gonna write down what we just put on. We're gonna write things down so we can find them later. So now we're gonna get another scoop. So now we're gonna get the blue. This is going to be nice and colorful. So I'm going to put in the dice, and he's just going to put in the skateboard. I'm going to put in like the red rice, and then an object, and then the blue rice, and then an object, and then a green rice, and an object, and I just repeat it and repeat it until it's full enough. Okay, so now we're gonna put in an object. So I'm going to put in the guitar and Daniel's gonna put in... A whistle. The whistle. The whistle. Okay, so now to finish our rainbow. Now I'm going to put the cap on. Whistle. Now I'm going to shake it up so I can find the objects. I found the guitar. And that's how you make an ice spy bottle. How to make crawling colors. We're going to show you this cool color experiment so you can play too. All you need to start with are five glasses and some water. First, pour some water into three of the glasses. You want them to be in a pattern. Water, empty, water, empty, water. This one, this one, and this one. The glasses need to be the same size and clear so you can see the rainbow. Then you're gonna add your color. If you wanna make a rainbow, make your first one red. Make the middle one yellow. And you make the last glass blue. These are three parts of the rainbow. I added about three drops in it. And now you're gonna mix it with a spoon. Then you're gonna add your paper towels. Start with half a piece. Fold it or roll it. It should look like this. Then cut it in half. Then put the paper towel into the red water and bend the dry end into the empty glass. 
So then you add more paper towels to every cup. The colored water is going to crawl into the empty glass through the paper towel. The yellow is going to mix with the red. It's going to make orange. And the blue is going to mix with the yellow, and that's going to make green. It's going to take a long time, so you have to have a lot of patience. Mm. While we're waiting, do the wave! <laughs> Jumping jacks! One, two, two. think big thoughts. Hmm. Hmm. Rock, paper, scissors, and shoot! After you've played some fun games, check on your rainbow. Wow! The longer you wait, the more colored water will travel over. I can't believe they crawl over into the empty glass. The paper towel is kind of like a bridge because the water goes over the bridge into the empty cup to make really cool colors. And that's how you make crawling colors.